music so uh, see if we can get puzzle pop working set up so early none of this shit would be worse <laughs> right, we got some star instructions <clears throat> starting the server how oh, crap is that love you all right we're going to stop at that point, clearly. And go ahead and start sharing my screen, figure out how this one Sure, I'll keep the little person thing for now. <clears throat> Got everything. Got a drink. Got a hoodie. Good. All right, so 
And it's like six o'clock already. I'm gonna go ahead and get this over with. Um, just cause like I want to eat <laughs> before eight. So first things first, let me know if you can hear me or not. Uh, I'll just put it in chat. All right, so anyway, um, welcome to the stream. Uh, I just wanted to do, uh, I was going to make a vault thing, so <clears throat> going to go through those steps, kind of sort of reading instructions. Uh, I'm pretty sure the handle is just like pronounced exploit. So shout out to exploit. Um, give me the idea, but I was talking about like secrets management and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, you know, I see vault, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to just build my own, see what it's about. He was like, so you're going to stream it? And yeah, I done there said no, but hey, here we are. Uh, so what is vault? Vault is secrets manager, TOTP, which is something about a one-time password. There's a lot of things. Actually, I can be a genius and all. Uh, Maybe show you the site. Uh, is it gonna have what I'm looking for? I mean, so just like common use cases for vaults, it's very popular for like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna assume IT and DevOps as a whole. Um, why am I using it? I don't know, man. I don't like like not understanding how things work, honestly. Um, so it's like, hey, let me try this out. Um, kind of sort of used it at work, thought it was kind of cool. So yeah, there's that. Um, got any questions, you know, you can ask whatever. I'll try to answer and we'll just go from there. I'm probably not gonna talk per usual. Oh, there we go. There's a nice picture. Shit. <laughs> what is vault? Um, so yeah, in particular, so we're going to stop at the web UI part, um, but we're going to at least try to get the whole key value thing working um, as a secrets engine. Uh, and that's really it. I don't really need the rest of this. I, I'm interested in the key value and the time-based OTP, which is a one-time password. Let's do this. Um, oh, server details. Uh, I'm set up on DigitalOcean. I made a little droplet. It's like one gig, 250 gigabytes type of thing. Uh, just because $5 after this, I'm going to delete it. So, you know, don't get too happy about nothing. Um, yeah, just real simple Ubuntu server. We're going to run it from there. Uh, like I said, that's probably why I'm not going to do the web UI. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna do everything else. Interesting. Oh, okay, cool. We're done. We did that, we did that. So if we run vault right here. Oh snap. Success. Um rewrite delete list login eight and seven. Okay. So the real thing would be like can I get locally into the vault? Probably not going to look. Oh, okay. Oh, it's installed and ready to go. Cool. Starting a server. It's 
So actually, we're going to stop right here. Because uh, I just need the dev stuff, you know? <clears throat> hmm. Is that it? You notice the unsell key and root token. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not right. Because 12711 001 is local host. See if I can read this one thirty seven dot fifty eight by eight points. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Man, that's a show. I should have got the IP address. All right, well, we're going to hope this works. Uh, export vault. <coughs> God, save unsell key somewhere. Can I not just export it? Um. So with the export commands, if you don't know, um. When you close the terminal, they go away. If you want them to stay, you put them in your bash RC. Uh, I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do on this, so I ain't too worried. <laughs> stays, stays, goes, it goes. Token settlements and binary variables or the five token of vault for the auth tutorial. Okay, I guess. Yeah, this didn't work. Um Better in here. So I have to install this on my local machine too? Probably. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Of course you do. <laughs> um, Token was already authenticating CLI. Jeez. Okay, so I'll admit maybe I should have ran this locally first. <laughs> 
but like potato potato bro all right we already got all that stuff done it's like Oh, All right, sorry, gotta stop sharing real quick. Gotta log into the secret stuff. Uh, I'm screw something up. Oh, it's definitely an address. Let's use my one bar and so I want Oh, yeah, yeah, I asked you. Oh, what's up, bro? <sighs> All right, so I think I'll go back here. I'll go back to sharing my screen. Yeah, you're back. Okay, so updated the the Addy. <clears throat> oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, I gotta stop sharing again. Sorry, y'all gotta hate me. My bad. So I'm gonna explain why this is not gonna work. I don't have that port open. Um yeah. So because like by default I've had to get in the habit of creating my security rules as I like um create like everything else, like server wise and stuff. <laughs> I set this up where only SSH is allowed, which is cool and safe and all, but it does not play well with Vault. So, all right, let me just create a rule here. What is this for, 8200? Mm. I just wanna make sure I put the right thing here. Got it, got it. Touch it to the point. Okay. Okay. And then, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm cleaning up stuff in the background. I know you can't see it. I know that sucks. So sorry, but like, that's what it is, what it is, you know? <laughs> Maybe showing all the cool stuffs. Um, all right, so I think we should have had time to like propagate and stuff like that. Back to sharing my screen. All right, we're back. We're back. This should work. I added the port in my ingress. So still didn't work. Yeah, I gotta remove HTTP. Yeah, because I don't have port 80 open. God. <laughs> Can I not just dug it out like this? Oh, it's gonna take forever. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not the page I want to be on. Deployed vault.
in a configuration file to my primary storage and listener. Blah, 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 blah. Press a new back end, blah, blah, blah. So I was once per cluster, not once per server. All right, none of this makes sense. All right, cool. <laughs> Gonna figure this out like since it's a bit. I don't wanna hear this shit talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are also doing this locally, it seems. I don't know, can I use this whole like, Whoa, what? Oh, this right, I control C. I'm using Windows too much. Just now, let to screw this up, bro. HTTP is port 80. So, like, maybe if I open up 80 and 22 and 82, sorry. I'm not going to keep a power deck. You know the drill by now. <laughs> Third time I've had to do it. Whoa. Oh. I know this music just go to my ears. Jesus. All right, can't do it. Distract it. Um, okay. VPC. No, it's the firewall, not the VPC. Never fear. Got other things to play like lo fi from. Bro, why is everything trying to connect to my damn AirPods, bro? All right, so I got port 2020, port 82, ACPP. <sighs> Give it a minute, I guess. Change the wall, Addy. Um, 
I'll draw in the from the she from from server. It's got to be because of the address. All right, like, look, man, we can't get this to work. I guess I got to run this stupid shit locally. <sighs> okay. So I, like, updated my stuff. I mean, it's like, what happened if I just run false server? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make a config file. What the fuck is that? <laughs> but, uh, tree? I don't know what that is. Okay, let's see, like. Uh, let's paste. No, we don't care about the false cluster address. One thirty seven. One eight four. Dot fifty one. Dot eighty four. Oh, let's go. One thirty seven, one eighty four, dot fifty one, dot eighty four, and then listening. Scott here, seven dot one eighty four, fifty one dot eight four. All right, we got that. We don't need this raft. All right, so. Dash P dash slash vault slash data. Well, server dash copied. <laughs> this for sure ain't recommended. Uh, I don't see no fail to start it. Oh, no. almost got it. so anyways <laughs> let me explain what we did um God, how does my brain work bro I'm blanking okay thought process right so dev server is meant to be worked locally I don't want this to work locally I want this to work on my server so what I did was just skip ahead to this whole deploy vault thing and I just worked it out with my server now, what I don't have is port 8201 open as we have like in this config file. Uh, I don't really know what raft is. I'm assuming this was gonna save all of our secrets. <laughs> um, what else? I guess that's, uh, that's it. Um, the one time ever, blah blah blah. Only time should ever be close. Save all three of the keys, bro. I just want to write up in secret. <laughs> all right, look, we're gonna jump back to the starting the server thing. Um, so ideally, 
I did everything right. And so you see this whole like seal type, initialized, all the other stuff. Um, this is apparently sealed and not initialized. But I can't say that I understand the difference outside of reading. Um, I know for sure that the whole storage type wrappers in memory, that's all I got for you, man. That's all I got. We're going to say that we completed this <laughs> Oh, story of my life as we skip the steps. Um, okay, so we're going to do V2 of the commands. Why would I type this if you have it here for me? Update the key name, prove the secret. Read this value back, metadata. Check the command line, nope. So how about, no, so put is gonna add, I know that for a fact. I did kind of use this like once. Um, but yeah, so secret slash value is where it's gonna save. And so, like, when we call it back, uh, oh, where my mouse go? We, um, we're going to use that, like, whole thing, and it's going to show you all the key values in that area, right? So, uh, let's say vault kv put secret string kv uh, equals true. Platform equals switch. Superhero. Can I do this? We're about to find out. Ah, uh, vault is sealed. Ah, oh, bro. Oh, we got so close. I can't have to unseal it. <laughs> okay. If you are me in the future, you should read. So anyways, let me just run these little commands. I guess I can read it the first time now. And then I'm gonna do it and then we're gonna show it. All of this, five shares, blah, 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 by forum. I don't really. Okay. The sealed state configuration vault can have access to physical storage. So, how to encrypt the process of teaching well how to decrypt the data is known as unsealing the API and command line. Oh, yeah, I'm silky. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so now I think we're good. Still sealed, but now it's initialized. Also notice the staple. Can we not just do all operator unseal? You must use three different unseal keys. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is uh it's kinda wet. It's, it's kinda wet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, 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 that's two. Mm. 
Okay, that's three. Vault is unsealed, entering standby mode. Oh, that's dope. Okay, whatever that means. So I'm gonna assume this is kind of like a bank vault type of thing. I mean, I probably should read more. Success, you're now authenticated. Token information is displayed below. Already stored in token helper. You don't need to run vault login again. All right, that's cool. So anyways, back to what we were trying to do, the whole first secret thing. Um, I'm just gonna like run this again, so I can find my error making API request. Okay, there's no secret folder, so like, Oh, uh, uh, man, this is going real bad, bro. Real, real bad. If you already have all the details. Oh, um, let's pause. Okay, so look, ideally, um, I don't really have much to say about the tokens. They should be hidden, blah, 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 typical security shit. Um, but your token duration, you also should ideally set the policy on those um, so they should not be infinite. Uh, I think a good term is like 30 to 90 days. Uh, I think typically 90 days is cool as a refresher, unless, depending on the type of work you do. Like if you're by yourself, maybe 90 days. So make sure you're up to date. Uh, maybe in an org, you do like based on hours. Um, maybe if y'all are really small, you do it for a whole week. Um, pretty big, do it for like 12, 48 hours. What else? Should probably create more policies so everyone's not rude. Um, I'm sure you can tie this to identity services. Uh, I don't know nothing about that, but. I guess Oct is pretty popular. I think that's it to explain. Hmm. I feel like this is not working though. Yeah, what the f is in the four oh three like on you? But the server understands the request but refuses to authorize it. I wonder why. Set the server stuff, right? I'm starting to collect tabs here. When we ran this, API should be able to run 48200. I've already logged in. Mm. This is on port eighty two hundred without TLS. API to route client request. Oh, we don't even have no cluster. This wasn't fancy. Oh, can I just go back up to this? Server configuration. Um, 
So if it's doing all this, why won't it tell me? Screw this shit up. making API requests. Oh, I think it's because the UI is false. All right, next stop. Next. Yeah. I think this has to be true. But I get for changing shit, clearly. We have to unseal this again? Shit, bro. No way, no way. I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, all right, so this sucks. Should have been done by now. Should have already had all this stuff. Um, so technically, we don't have to read this authentication. Oh, so that whole like um, TLTP, you would use the vault token create thing, but you know, like I said, change the duration and stuff and all that fun stuff. You can enable GitHub. Sad, bro. Real sad. Real and sad. All right, so look. I'm going to call it a day on the stream because this. It's kind of hurt my feels. Kind of hurt my feels. Because it's just fucking stupid. Um, so I have not. Technically, I can't say I got this working on a server. It has something to do with my firewall setup. I'm I'm like 99.99% sure. I'm going to have something to do with that. Um, I don't really know what it is, though. So in this case, the last um, command that I ran, I'm pretty sure it's because we don't have an unsealed vault. Since I just restarted it, we have to unseal it again. So that's thing one. Uh, thing two with the, oh crap, 403s. Yeah, that's like on me in the server. It, like recognize it, it's rejecting it. I think I have a port closed, what have you. It is what it is. Um, so what did I learn? This is not easy to set up, right? I thought it would be quicker to set up and all that other stuff. But I will say like, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with HashiCorp. I just do not enjoy all the HCL stuff. Um, so to me, that's a little bit frustrating. I'm not understanding why your config file wouldn't just be your standard YAML file, but you know, who am I but a person who's not paying? <laughs> um, let's see, what else I got? I mean, I, that's pretty much it, man. Um, thanks for watching me struggle, which is all I do on these streams. Probably go back to doing apps. Um, the service stuff's not fun. Oh, to know this is written in Go, if you're into that type of thing. But yeah, other than that, I think I just really screwed this up firewall-wise. So my apologies for that. But it really sucks for all of us. Uh, but yeah, see you later. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I sound sad as shit. All right. <sighs> I'm good. I'm good, man. See y'all later, whatever later is.